Uh, well, that's kind of the perfect t-shirt for summer, isn't it? Isn't it, though? Uh, yeah. This is the Icy logo, famously parodied by our parody department. <laughs> But it looks really good. But, uh, and it's so summer. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, right? I don't think, here's the thing. I never give two shits about an IC during the winter, but during the summer, <laughs> addicted. You could have it's a, meth. Yeah. And the <laughs> thing about ICs is we used to have, not everybody remembers, we did actually have a 7 Eleven in town. Right, right. It was at the corner of 17th and Holmes. Yes. Uh-huh. Where there's a common sense now. Right, right. I know exactly the one. 7-Eleven has Slurpees. Right. But any place that isn't 7-Eleven, which has been mostly East Idaho for most of all time, Mm -hmm. we got the good old-fashioned Icy's. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I remember there being somewhere that had a banana-flavored one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yummy. Delicious. It was so good. Do those (laughs) even exist anymore? God, I don't know. I'm sure 7-Eleven has them, but... Mm -hmm. Well, and to be fair, the main place I ever had, like, Slurpees, Icy's, Slushies of any kind, was the movie theater. Because when I was a kid, my dad would basically just take me into work with him all day for eight hours a day. (laughs) And we'd go to movie after movie, just, like, waiting for my dad to be done. And if he was feeling really nice, every now and then he'd buy us some food. (laughs) What a child's (laughs) dream. (laughs) Well, but every now and then he'd be nice enough to buy us some popcorn and a couple of Slushies. And I'd always get the cherry one. Because the only two options were cherry and Coke, and I didn't really like Coke. I, I don't like Coke as a flavor. Oh, I, okay, Like, I don't yeah. like Coca-Cola. To I don't me, like Pepsi. I don't like cola-flavored stuff. I like root beer, and that's it. To me, there's nothing like an ice-cold Coke slushy. Right, right. Coke brand slushy. Well, the nice thing- Don't you thing- try to RC me. <laughs> Well, the nice thing is then you and I could still go and we could, you could get your Coke and I could get the cherry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I could put a little bit of mine in yours and you'd have a cherry Coke. We had, <laughs> <laughs> we had so much popcorn. Oh, I know. The weekend we watched uh, <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh-huh. And Long Legs. At the Motor View. And then Long Legs <laughs> the next night at Edwards. Mm-hmm. It was so, I had so much popcorn at the Motor View that my lips got numb. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then you were saying that there's a... And we didn't see the Wolverine popcorn bucket that we were hoping to see. No, unfortunately. Not but at Edwards either. I will say I do love this whole thing with the whole novelty buckets. Yeah. What They're w- super cute. What's the new one? The newest one I've seen is for Beetlejuice 2. Okay. It looks like one of the sandworms wrapped around the bucket. Oh, nice. So definitely not nearly as... Um, Evocative, let's say, <laughs> as the Wolverine or the um, or provocative, yeah, <laughs> right, or the uh, Doom Porn Two, yeah, <laughs> yeah Doom <laughs> Two buckets. Um, so you know that's kind of nice. Sure, I'm glad that they finally reeled it in a little. <laughs> yeah, still got a giant worm going I around. Mean, it. Yeah, that's true. Still kind of phallic in its own way, <laughs> right. but at least it's not yonic like the other two have been. <laughs> right? Yeah, yes, or yonic. I suppose so. Either way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wolverine's mouth wide open. Yeah. yeah the, the, so inviting for do, your hand to grab some popcorn. <laughs> Dune ten. Dune ten. What am I trying Dune to? Two. Dune dentata yes. bucket. This, yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I'm talking about. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Sandworm dentata. <laughs> there. Yeah. Dune two dentata. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's hard to say. And has nothing to do with tatas. Nope. All right, but yeah, I like that they're getting a little more creative. This Deadpool and Wolverine one really was, I don't want to say a disappointment, but it was just like spend $23 more and get this bucket you can use forever. Although I will say that those buckets serve a purpose. You you know uh how uh, every family, and I think we've (laughs) talked about this. I had a feeling that's where you were going to take it. Now, I think the Wolverine one would be better. Of the two for this. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the Dentata one, you're going to get chunk stuck. Yes, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it's this multi-purpose bucket in your house that's large. Well, usually it's a bowl. And you either have it for, uh, yeah, a bowl, bucket. Yeah. A receptacle like that. And you vessel. either You have a <laughs> vessel. You have it for family movie popcorn night. Uh-huh. Or it's the bucket mom hands you when it's time to throw up. When yeah. You're, when, when you're, you're homesick little... with the flu and you've been barfing everywhere and she's trying to save some cleanup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. But you actually came up with, because I was, I got a little touch of the flu. Yeah. Some of the man flu. 
you came up with <laughs> the perfect thing. I would agree personally. The, the perfect thing. Yeah, I think it. I think it makes so much more sense because I've seen the whole big bowl thing, and I've even tried it, and I don't like it. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, and it's too bad it's not here. Right, right. But you can imagine it. It's based okay. So instead of using a big old salad bowl. Instead, I use a plus size pitcher or any pitcher, really. It'd be a great pitcher for serving lemonade uh-huh. at your backyard barbecue on a hot summer day. Right. Like any Dollar Tree pitcher would work just fine. I think mine is a Rubbermaid brand one. Uh, but yeah, the whole idea basically is just that. So if you need a barf, I think this makes so much more sense <laughs> if for you're a couple of spew, reasons. Spew into this. <laughs> right. But here's why I think it makes more sense. <laughs> is that First Wayne's off, world? <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, I think it's what uh, uh, Garth says <laughs> yeah, okay. to a guy in the van or something like that. Anyway, uh, but here are the few reasons why I think that it is the superior vomit vessel of the two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First and foremost, it's got a handle. Like, you're already hurling your guts out. The one thing you don't want to have to worry about is grip strength. You can either slide yeah. your hand in between yep. and just sort of cradle it yep. um, without worrying about, like, <laughs> can you imagine if you were, like, holding the bowl and you squoze a little too tight and then yeah. it flung up over right. your shoulder and into your face? Or you're Horrible. reaching over for something on right. the nightstand right. in the middle of the night. It's good yep. for that. You yeah. just handle. swipe a handle. Right? It's like a... Divers yeah. regulator sweep. Right. You know, right. you know it's right there. Yeah. Not only that, but I like that it is kind of the exact <laughs> size of a face. So you can just put your right. face right in it and you're good. Whereas the other one, you could go for it and it could splash up the other side. You know? I'm not sure I've ever had that happen, but I can imagine it doing it could, so. I mean, yeah, depending. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so that's a couple of reasons. Not only that, but also easy pour spout. So, so when you're all done, you can just the, pour it out without having to worry about it dribbling down the side. Right. Right yeah. into the toe-toe. Or mm-hmm. the, some people use the garbage disposal. I mean, if we're going to have a garbage disposal. you pour your puke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think, honestly. This is the perfect puke pitcher. Mm-hmm. Well, and frankly, mixing <laughs> bowls are expensive and usually come in a set. And I don't want to ruin one by barfing <laughs> in it. Whereas I could go to the Dollar Tree Get one pitcher for a dollar and then have that be my vomit pitcher. If there's if there's one thing you take away from this episode, it ought to be puke pitcher. Mm-hmm.